Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Infinity Necklace DIY. We're going to be using some clay. This is the clay that I'm choosing to work with. It's porcelain clay, but you can use polymer clay if you want to. Now I'm going to be taking this much and I'm going to roll it and I'm just going to keep on rolling it until I have this shape, like kind of like a really thin snake. Uh, and then I'm just going to cut it and with some water that I have here in my brush, you don't need that much. In fact, the less you add, the more it's going to uh, work. I'm just going to be gluing those edges or ends together and then I'm just going to twist it like this. Just, um, you know, arrange it as you want it to dry just before it dries because remember this is air dry clay so it uh, dries with air. And yeah, this is pretty much it for the shape itself. This is the easiest way that I found on making this infinity uh, shapes. But yeah, I'm just going to be waiting for this to dry and once it's dry I'm going to be painting this with some gold acrylic paint and a brush. I'm just going to be covering this twice then I'm going to wait for that to dry again. And now to make this a necklace, I'm going to be taking a chain. This is the chain that I'm working with. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And then two jump rings and then a clasp. So I'm just going to be opening my uh, jump rings with my pliers. And in goes the chain like that. But I'm opening really well because I'm going to be putting my infinity sign. I'm just going to be closing this like so. The same goes to the other side, obviously. And yeah, I'm just going to be closing this to actually be wearing this. The length of the necklace pretty much depends on you, your personal taste and the size of your neck, how long or short you want your necklace to be and that's pretty much something that you have to measure on your own like neck and yeah, this is what it looks like on. I really like it. I like the infinity design as is for what it means, but also because I think it's super cute, like visually. And it's perfect for Valentine's, but you know, I'll be for sure wearing this all year round. And this is really simple to make, actually. I really hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye, guys.